Hello, welcome to my channel and thanks for tuning into this video. Today I'm going to be mainly focusing on the new Makeup by Mario bronzer. I have it in the shade Light, the lightest shade in the range. And this is my first Makeup by Mario purchase, so I was really curious to try this out. I'm going to do some comparisons with other bronzers in my collection. And then I'm also going to be using the Rowan 52 Degrees. This is their cool toned little quad. This is gonna be my first time using this as well. And I'm also gonna be showing you how I like to use my Lisa Eldridge Velvet Lipsticks as blushes. So if you'd like to see all of that, just keep on watching. All right, so let's just get right into putting the bronzer on. So here is what the shade Light looks like. This is the lightest shade. And let's put it on, see how it looks. And I do wanna do some comparisons later, but let's just focus on this for now. So I'm using my Wayne Goss large artist brush for this. And my foundation is set lightly with the Kosas Cloud Set Powder today. Just wanted to give this its best opportunity to go on really smoothly. So I think it's going on really nicely. It's a very light buildable application, I find, at least with this really soft squirrel hair brush which is great for a bronzer because so often those of us who have very fair skin have to be very, very careful with our bronzer application. It's a nice matte finish. I don't think it's like a luminous matte or anything like that. It's just pretty straight up matte, but it doesn't look drying or anything. Very nice, lightweight. All right, so here's what the bronzer looks like. I think it's really actually quite nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. It does add warmth, so, so it's probably not that cool toned fair bronzer that I've been dreaming of, but it actually, I don't find it looks really orangey. It's just a little bit of a warmth, but I think it does have actually a little touch of rosiness to it while still being warm toned. And I think it looks really nice and, and natural on the skin. Kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzers and I'll do a little comparison with those later on. I'm gonna do a little bit of my lip shading with the Wayne Goss number no. seven brush from his edit collection. It's my new favorite brush for this task. And I wanted to put this on my eyes too before I go into the Rowan palette. So I'm just going to do my under eye with the same brush. And I'm going to take my classic crease brush into the bronzer and just put this right in my crease. I think you can see when it's on my eye. It's almost like a rosy peachy color, this bronzer. So moving into the Rowan palette, this is the 52 degrees, the cool palette. And this is gonna be my first time using it. So I think I'm gonna start out just by swatching each of the shades, cause that'll also help me to get a sense of the different textures in this palette. All right, so those are the four shades. That blue is so nice and shiny. It's almost like a silvery blue. And that one's really shiny too. And these two are more like satin shades. So I think what I'll do is use this as my kind of transition 
shade. It's quite pigmented. But blending out really nicely and easily just with my fingers. Okay, I think that's really pretty. And now I want to try going into this more sort of reddish, maroony kind of shade. And just keeping that a little bit more precise than where I put the brown. It's almost like uh, it has a reddish undertone, but it still remains a cool shade. Interesting. All right, and now I want to try and use both these two sort of more shiny, shimmery shades. And I'm gonna grab a brush for that. I'm taking my Refer 21 brush. I'm gonna go into this bluish shade here. And focus this on the outer half. All right, it's going on fine with the brush, but actually I'm just gonna try it with my finger and see. Yeah, that's fine. Just tapping it lightly. And I'm gonna go into this champagne -y kind of shade. This one's definitely the most textured shade in the palette. And just topping up that blue a little bit. And I want to bring this light shade right into the inner corner and it's a little bit tricky to do that with my finger. So taking the Wayne Goss number seven again. Okay, I think that's a really nice, simple, and easy eye look. And I'm just going to finish it up with some liner and mascara, and then I'll be back. I'll do the rest of the face and do some comparisons for the bronzer and just round up my thoughts. So I finished up the eyes, and I really like this Rowan palette, just looking at it while I was doing my mascara and liner. These Rowan palettes have a unique finish. They really give that wet kind of look to the lid and it's very pretty, but manages to be, I think, quite sophisticated at the same time. And I think this cool tone palette actually could still be really nice for summer. I know we associate warm tones more with summer, but I think that the way that those cool tones play together and play with warmer tones and more bronzy tones, like having the bronzer on the lid already. I think it, it all looks really nice together. And this blue especially, I think combined with the champagne shade, kind of gives an effect that reminds me of the ocean and sun shining on the water. So I think this is a great palette even for summer. Now I just wanna put a little bit of blush and highlighter on before we move on to comparisons. So I want my blush to match my lip color today and I actually have a mixture of the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Beauty and Velvet Blush lipsticks on today. And I was finding that just a little bit too deep so I actually went into the new Westman Atelier Le Nude and I used these two lighter shades and just sort of topped things off with those and it just sort of toned down the color a little bit, which is I think the purpose of those shades. So I'm just gonna open up both of my lipstick bullets here. And I'm gonna take this Westman Atelier powder brush, which I like to use for creams. And I'm just gonna go into Velvet blush first and pat that on the cheek. Velvet blush works really well as a blush, as you might expect from the name. And then 
just going into Velvet Beauty. Would be fine to just leave it with the blush, but why not throw in another color? What I'm kind of doing is loading the blush onto one side of this brush and then sort of patting that onto the cheeks and then flipping it over and using the other side to blend so that I can build gradually and very easily without having to go back into the bullet. Okay, and I'm probably gonna use this again because I tend to like to top up my blush after I've done highlighter. And I'm going to use my Salt New York highlighters, mixing the shades Pearl and Beige. So here's the completed look. Okay, I have some swatches here for comparisons. So these two here are the two shades in the Victoria Beckham 01 bronzer. Then we have the Tom Ford Terra bronzer. This is the Makeup by Mario in the light shade. Next up is the Fenty in the Sun. Then we have the Gucci in 01 Fair, and then this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the medium shade. When I look at all of these together, it's these three right here that are looking the most similar to each other to my eye. So that's the deeper shade in the Victoria Beckham duo, that's the Tom Ford Terra, and that's the Mario. I still think that the Terra Bronzer is a bit more rosy and cool toned than the Mario, but I do think this is really quite close. It's just a little bit more of, a, like I said, kind of like a rosy peach color, a little bit more warmth to it, but still has some rosiness. And then the Fenty Into Sun, it's similar in terms of the depth, but I find this one to be quite a bit more yellow than the other three right there. The Gucci one, again, it's similar to the Tom Ford Terra in its sort of undertones. It's a bit cooler and rosier, but I find this one somewhat deeper than the others. And the Mario, I think among all of these, aside from maybe the light Victoria Beckham, is the most sheer and buildable formula. And then the medium from Charlotte Tilbury is looking actually really quite orange compared to the rest of these shades. So once again, we have the two from the Victoria Beckham 01 brick. That's the... Tom Ford Terra, that's the Mario in light, that one's Fenty in the Sun, Gucci 01 Fair, and Charlotte Tilbury Medium. There's no direct sunlight really outside today, it's pretty cloudy, it seems to be clearing a little bit, but I think the, the light outside is pretty much the same as what the light looks like coming in through the window here, so I'm not going to do any outdoor swatches today. And just to round up my thoughts on the Mario bronzer, like I said, I think it really is the most buildable from among these ones that I've looked at today. And it's warmer than my coolest bronzers, but still I don't find it to be too orange or too yellowy. It's not as light as my dream bronzer, but the fact that it is so sheer and buildable, I think really gives it some points in its favor for me. I don't notice any sort of patchiness or anything like that. And I think it looks really quite natural and nice on the skin. So those are my thoughts for my first impression using this. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to see those below. And if you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would really love for you to do so. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.